obviously do you guys feel like this was the game to win or that you now probably lay down the market for no title wins? Yeah, look, I think it was a good one in context, but uh, uh, we're still only halfway through the season. So lots of things we still need to work on and, and get better at. And I think uh, the side is, is about getting better every week. So plenty of work up in the training field, but it was a, it's always nice to get a victory up from the half out. Uh, what are you anticipating from the Griquas, especially given that they're going to be quite desperate to get uh, at least four points? They need at least four points from this next game to get into the get into a potential playoff spot. What are you anticipating from them? No, no, Gre Griquas will always be tough. Mm. Uh, that's, uh, that's a given. But uh, ultimately, we want to focus on our processes about our team getting better. So. You know, we've, uh, we've had three good victories and uh, we'd like to continue in that, that trend, but we need to make sure that the players are better prepared by the time uh, Saturday comes around and uh, we would like to put a, a performance worthy of our fans' agreements. Mm -hmm. Gareth, there's a, I know you're not probably selecting the team, but um, at this, you know, Dobbers already spoken about how there's not that many opportunities to, to expose new players in the Curry Cup moment because of the single round of the pressure. Would this be an opportunity to possibly try some fringe players so that you've got guys who are game ready when you come to the business end of the competition and get the injuries? Yeah, okay, well, look, I mean, that's obviously up to the head coach, John Dawson, to, to make those calls, but uh, I'm sure if he's looking to build depth, that he would potentially consider a few places up for grabs this weekend, but as I said, you know, that's, that's up to, to John to make that decision. You guys, um, how many of the screen rocks will you be getting back? No, yet. Which screen rocks are going to be available? I've missed out. Any injuries from the weekend? Look, I think touch wood, I think we went pretty well. Um, we didn't uh, pick up too many niggles or, or injuries, so I think everybody will be fit and ready to go. We've got a few guys who've also on the mend, so you know, they, they come up into the shake up. And then it's, uh, it's obviously determined on uh, what we see from Griquas that uh, will influence uh, the coach's decision on who plays and who doesn't. Is it difficult to keep the guys fit and players, I mean, feet on the ground, given that like, everything keeps reacting so easily for them? Look, I, I don't think that's a worry. I think um, the players are professional and enough to, to understand what's at stake here. Um, Every week is, is a, another opportunity to perform uh, to the best of their ability. And I think, given the fact that that Greg was at a very good run of the cheaters, we will we'll need to prepare accordingly. So if, you, if your question entails taking the week a little bit lighter, definitely not. I, I, guess, I guess maybe I should ask the players. I mean, I guess because it's a shorter competition, and because you have the bias, you have bias now. I mean, proper, I mean, you have another one after the Sharks game. Um, there's probably less chance of you losing concentration because you because you switch on every week because you're not playing actually as much as maybe you would have last year. Yeah, and I, I think with the short um, competition, um, it's, it's in the back of our minds. So we know it's not like in the previously where we went up to Greek was and lost. You know, and you sort of think we still have time to catch up. You know, so every week we're trying to raise our standards. Um, and prepare well because we know we can't, we can't afford to slip up. Are you almost like on a sort of playoff footing sort of quite early in the competition, yeah. like from the beginning? Yeah. I think we've had, a, we've had in the past couple of years, we've always started the Curry Cup um, on a slower note, where now we had to, you know, hit the road running and we couldn't afford to slip up. <laughs> Very calculated, or was it part luck that it landed? <laughs> no, I just I heard him like, screaming at the point, so I knew he was through. If he, if he got it, so I thought I have to just try it. And, yeah, luckily it came off. Uh, yeah, otherwise <coughs> uh, would have been in trouble. So I probably would have gone off at half time. <laughs> and what did you guys gain from the win? I mean, that's uh, quite sp special. I haven't been on the receiving end of it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, 
um, it's one of the special victories in the past. I think while I've been here, we've never had something like that at Ellis Park. And, um, in the way that we did it, and um, it just made it very special. And yeah, hopefully um, we can only get better from here. And uh, yeah, we keep working hard this week. We executed pretty well, but again, you know, there, there's always one or two things that, that you need to work on and get better at. But in terms of, of how we wanted to, uh, to manage ourselves in the game and what we wanted to get out of it, I think uh, it would have been a, a tick in the right box for uh, for Dollar and the coaching staff. So, from that perspective, given the fact that, that uh, we were probably a little bit less in terms of uh, the position set, but we made that position count more for. And then, of course, um, just think that the uh, you know, you're throwing subs and all of that, and you use your wheels to finish, but uh, there are, was that, you know, just like, that was probably more question for Dava, but is that more like, you know, just a tact different tactical approach, or also even just, you know, you're playing at the high level, it would, would be important to just get fresh legs or keep fresh legs up here. Well, tactically, I think, uh, obviously, I wish that was around when, when I was playing, so. Uh, <laughs> but tactically, I, I think we, we worked on a plan uh, during the week, and, uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes those plans come to fruition and, and this week was one of those weeks that uh, we, uh, we worked on, on a plan for, for the replacements to be built and uh, it worked in our favor. Scarab, maybe just from a player's point of view, bowling subs, uh, just important and how does it influence you as a player on the field? Yeah, well, I think, I mean, you can, you can sort of say manage your energy like Pickles knew he was coming off so you, you can hear the guys talking Pickles knew flat box flat box because he knows he's going to get a bit of a break so I wish I got some <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but um, especially at the high felt you know at least it's nice to have a plan and um, just like what Garrett said and our, the plan came uh, work for us worked in our favor so I think as a player um, it's nice to have um, especially if guys have niggles or um, you know, and, or guys are flat boxing, the way we want to try and spike in certain parts of the game. You know, we focused on before the end of the first half and the last 15 minutes of the second half, and that's when we decided to make a lot of changes, which which worked, which worked in our favour. Do you reckon it also helped with injuries in the long term? Because you mentioned the baby flat niggles. Yeah, I think everyone is different. I think um, some players with load, maybe, yes. But a guy like me can't get a cold and then go on again. If I'm off, I'm done. So I think it all depends on the different types of players and how um, the coaches and the management want to manage a player, which definitely can help a lot with, with injuries. Um, you know, there's a lot of rugby being played now. But yeah, it is a shorter competition. But, you know, if you can manage the bodies, you know, it's... It's a lot better for, for the players. And just for the two of you guys, um, obviously we thought you were the big fan. Were you happy with how you guys managed to keep the line schools in cheap, especially in the first half and a guy like Armani, obviously, you know, around the screen just as well. So was that something that you, or I know you joked that you said that you actually wanted to get some of the you think about, you know, the kind of pressure that you guys were putting them under? Yeah, I think. Oh, okay. But, I think the, our back, we have a good back, so we just stick to our plans and we just like uh, the Amadis, we just close them up so he doesn't have space to do his tricks or all that stuff. So yeah, we stick to our plans and try and bring our left back. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, we saw their back line, you know, it's quite a dangerous uh, back line. So I think as a forward pack, we wanted to um, really try and dominate. Um, up front, you know, we struggled a bit when it came to the mall, but I think the scrums were okay, and we just emphasized on our work rate, you know, we need to work harder than them, and because we know our backs can attack, so hopefully we, we said, 
as a pack forward if we can try and uh, work harder than them and try and bully them, our backs will, will finish the game for us. And, I mean, you saw how the, the, the tries that our back line scored. And yeah, so it was, it was really, really pleasing for the forward pack when we work harder than the backs um, uh, finish for us. Skara, is this a very special character for you, given what you've been through in terms of injuries? Yes, no, definitely see it. I mean, we've spoken for many years now about this, and uh, it's nice to, to get an opportunity again um, and play in such an awesome team, you know. There's absolutely no egos in this team. Everyone works hard for each other. <coughs> the coaches are backing us. So it's really nice to be in, in an environment like this and um, to, to get a lot of game time again. Gareth, in, in the situation like the past weekend, is it a concern that one concedes 38 points or does the nature of the game uh, is <coughs> such that it's not really uh, um, not really an issue because it's such a loose kind of situation? Now, Steve, it was a very quick game. So, uh, you know, the, the attack is, 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 is well, well known and it's been pretty fearsome. And, I think bar the fact that they're missing Cronia and Yankees, and potentially Harold Foster, it was a super rugby backline. So, you know, I thought we defended really well, um, but there were one or two moments that obviously the, the defence coach, Norman Macker, needs to uh, have a chat to, to certain individuals to get right. But from the outset, you know, they scored right at the death to give them some sort of respectability. But, uh, you know, the, the, they've always got a good attack, and given the nature that we we scored uh, some, some beautiful trials in that first half. They were always going to throw everything at us uh, in that second half. But uh, from a defence point of view, I think you're going to have to ask Norman the, the, the nuts and bolts what he thought of it. Talking, talking about Norman's speciality, your, your theory of the kicking. Um, obviously, the, the one aspect is, is this game up very easily at the moment in the sense that he's not, not missing anything. Or he's kicking from, from the post half the time. We got to we got to keep him in that uh, in yeah. that sort of form. You know, he's yeah. um, uh, he's been around the provincial circuit for a long time, and uh, he's a good kicker on the rugby ball, and, and he works hard during the week. So, you know, if you, you put in the effort, uh, you hope, hope that uh, they get the rewards because it, it doesn't just happen by flick on the, on the weekend. So, you know, a long way at last, and, and touch wood, it uh, keeps going like that way. But uh, you know, it, it's not just him. You know, it's, it's guys like Josh Stunder as well, Jennifer Mark, who was. It was very good in terms of managing uh, uh, our exit players. Uh, you know, Henry Becker and came on. So it's a it's a collective effort, and uh, we've just got to keep making sure that we keep working hard in the week to maintain those high standards that have been set. Gareth, how impressed have you been with how your back three has a, um, attacked aerially? Especially, we've see, it been quite impressed with a guy like Sergio Peterson, who isn't the tallest or the biggest guy, but still manages to attack the ball quite well in the air. Yeah, listen, uh, Sergio, Sergio is uh, uh, a great uh, exponent of catching a high ball. He works hard at it. Uh, he, he came down from the Cheetahs and I think he picked up one or two uh, injuries at the beginning of the year, but he's worked incredibly hard and especially his aerial skills. Mm -hmm. with Dylan Latt you know, and, and SP, he's been a yeah. national fullback. So, yeah, again, it's, it's, uh, it's something that you've got to keep working on mm -hmm. during the week, but mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, uh, really pleased with the way they're going, and uh, it's, uh, it's great to see that they're, that they're reaping the rewards that they're putting out on the training field mm -hmm. when it comes to fruition on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we have no more questions, guys. Yeah, we can do some one-on-ones. Thanks a lot.